Time over TikTok number three of uh, maybe this, six this, or seven. This, this is another good Here one. Here we go. Hi guys, my name is Natalie. And just give me two minutes of your time, guys. I'm sorry. Um, and my name is Natalie. I attend a church down the street called King Jesus Broward. And I just really want to talk to you guys really fast. I don't want to shove the Bible down anybody's throat. I just want to tell you guys about somebody called Jesus that changed my life. And I very much believe that he could change somebody's life in here. And um, I just want you guys to know that no matter what it is you've gone through in your life, and if you feel like you're in a place where you're so far gone, you're not you're not forgotten. He still wants you, and he still hears Amen. still hears you. And he it says in the Bible, draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. So Hallelujah. right now, if you feel like any pull, any tug by any means that you need prayer or you're trying to draw closer to God and you find yourself in a random Chipotle right now, um where I have a team here ready to talk to you guys and Hallelujah. be able to pray for you guys outside. I get it, I got y'all, but I just want you guys to know that Jesus loves you and he has not forgotten about you and no matter what you've gone through in your life he is not he's gonna be there for you. I get it. I got you. I, I got get it. You. I get it. I get it. I got you. I get it. Put your hand down. Put your hand down, sir. I know you're just trying to eat. I get it. I got you. I get it. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. Put the burrito down, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Put it down to your food. I'm talking right now. That's what I like. Would you say now in your life, if you were sitting in that Chipotle, I know this random Chipotle, you just happen to find yourself luckily in right now. Yeah. Because of me yeah. doing this? Because of me. Would you say anything? Or do you just get up and walk out? Or do you just sit there awkwardly and let them finish? Oh, I mean, I would do exactly what that woman right in the bottom left of the camera is doing. And I'd just be on my phone, not giving a damn about what anything they're saying, just waiting for them to believe. Because you know what? You're just having an ego trip. And it's an it, ego it's, trip. It's, it's like, I need to yell in this Chipotle and tell you how much I can save you and how Jesus saved me. And if you can listen to me and we have a team outside and we can pray for you. But if you don't want that, then just know you're going to die. Yeah. It's like, oh, my God. She almost like knows, too. She, she, you can like see her because that's why she's saying, I got you. Yeah. I get it. I got you. I know you guys don't want me to be saying this right yeah. now. I know I'm awkward. It's like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I know, I know this is weird. Yes. Yeah. Next time. Yes, just, it is. Nobody does this. I can't unsee the ego now. When I was when I was being raised as an evangelical, oh, yeah, I, I didn't ever see the ego. Yeah. You're never taught about it. You never, you just feel like you're doing the Lord's work. All I see now it feels is the people opposite. wanting attention. So much attention and so much, they want power in a, in a society that doesn't give them any, any agency or power. And so they stand in a Chipotle and they yell the truth because they found it. And it's like, no, you stumbled into a cult and you got manipulated. We're sorry. Yeah. Relax. Take and, a deep breath. And now, because we know how good, we know how it feels, like exactly what you're saying, add on to that. It does feel good to be to be doing something that you believe is the right thing and then accomplishing that right thing or whatever, the way that is encouraged from the people that are in the same belief system mm -hmm. to be like, that is a special, like you're literally doing, you're a soldier at mm -hmm. that point, right? Like arms, like call to arms. That's what missionaries are. They're yeah. soldiers that go out. And so this is a soldier in the name of Jesus doing the Lord's work, putting themselves at risk. They could be persecuted. Oh my gosh. So, if, so if, I, if I was there or anybody in that video stands up and they're like, fuck you. She goes home and she's like, I just feel like I'm so persecuted. Gives them like, ammo. Gives them and it's ammo. It's like, well, you put that upon yourself, right? You're going to get, people are going to get triggered. And there's really that the only real way out of that is to just not have any sort of acknowledgement, just to not respond. Totally. Right. And, you know, if I'm in that Chipotle, you know, and that girl, after she's done doing her speech, comes right up to me and she's like, do you mind if I can talk to you about Jesus? I'd be like, I have a seat. Loved it. Let's have a talk. Yeah. You know, like, can we also film this? So oh, I can put it on the podcast? Totally. Totally. <laughs> That'd be a great talk. I would love to talk to these people. But if you're just going to scream at me without yeah. having an actual conversation, also, right? also where's you, the intimacy here? Also, and, and anything you'll see is the Bible says, it's like, well, I don't believe in your Bible. So you can't, you can't say the Bible says. But that's says. not a winning argument for them. What do you mean? Because whether you believe in it or not doesn't mean it's not true. It's not about winning. It's just about being like, if we're going to, if we, if you are going to lecture me on what you've learned about God, you can't use the Bible because your Bible isn't real to me at all. It's actually completely fake. But then that person's going to be like, you're lost. You know, you need to find Jesus. This is the word of truth. Right. So, well, duh, of course you don't believe in the Bible because you don't, then, you're not a Christian. What's so great is it's like, dude, I found Jesus for like 21 years of my life and he disappointed me. 
quite well, a no, bit. The thing is, you never found Jesus. That's why you oh, just gave right. That's the thing. It was like you were te- saying you found Jesus, right? <laughs> you, you, know, no, 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 no. you are you know, Jesus, you know, baby. You know what's great you is is this girl probably felt so validated after this and probably had so much adrenaline. Um, if you would go into the same Chipotle and just do the same speech about global warming or about, you know, like some ad- adapting oh God, in could science, you, imagine? you would feel the same endorphins. Dude, you imagine right now, if that TikTok was the exact same thing, but she was like, I get it. I get it right now. Honestly, guys, I get it. I get it. But just listen to me real quick. Our world is literally burning at a rate faster than you can ever imagine. Oceans are literally rising. Animals are dying at a rapid pace. Do you realize that in the next 10 years? And it was just like, is she literally going off in an awkward way about climate change? Let's go. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. No. Thank God. Yeah. There is a God. Yeah. But and no. Those are the soldiers we need. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the main soldier who does that? What's her name? Is she Swedish uh, or Swiss? Yeah, 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 she yeah, called yeah, that Andrew yeah. Tate and... Yeah, she's the Why new... Why can't Richard on the cover of Time? Yeah, she's the new girl for it. She is the girl. The girl. She gets arrested all the time for climate change. Well, they just uh, they just take oh, yeah. pictures of her being arrested. I don't think she's actually being arrested. It's great. I love it. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here for the uh, entertainment. That's the real God. That is the real God. Um, yeah. So I think the moral of this one is it's an ego trip. And... When we, when we do this, it's like, I'm not trying to be personal to that person. It's the culture. It's the dogma. It's the evangelical Christianity. It's what happens to people when they fall into, we, they say finding Jesus. We say, we say falling into a trap, falling into a cult. And cults are powerful. And they funnel these younger people. Now they have TikTok. Now they have Instagram. Now they have phones. The one thing that I, if you, if you, you would have given me back when I was like the strongest part of my evangelical faith at 12, 13, if I had a phone that I could post that I was allowed to, it would be nuts. Mm. It'd be nuts. Mm -hmm. You know? And like, so, but I mean, I I came to my wit's end about like 15 years old. So. Yeah. Um, Before. Just made it out alive. That's what we always say. We made it out alive. Yeah. Good time to make it out alive too. Ugh. But like, it makes sense why they're doing this. Cause I think that we all benefit from attention. That's why we post on social media. Right. And I think that there's a lot of, I personally think there's a lot like at stake there, right? Mm-hmm. If you have a lot of issues going on, on the inside and you're a lot of pain and you're hurting a lot and you're needing validation, you have all these things and you find that through posting yeah. your shit online and getting yeah. upvotes. Yeah. That's going to, that's going to work. I just think that it's, there's limitations to that. And there's also like, that opens the door to stuff like this to mm-hmm. where like, you're not only doing this publicly at a Chipotle now, that's awkward for the people there. But you're literally this is this is being glorified and then pushed out to like the internet where it's like fifty to sixty thousand upvotes. Mm-hmm. That means millions of people are seeing it mm-hmm. and they're like agreeing or disagreeing. So it is creating conversation, but I think that it's like this has been going on forever. Yeah. Right? Like this type of evangelical Chipotle faith. Totally. It's wild. Yeah. It is wild. Ego. Ego. Ego is absolutely insane. <laughs>